So my family are pressuring me to get married and I don't want to. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we this morning? How are we joining? How, what are we, sh how are we showing up today? What's going on? If this is the first time you see me, my name is Stefan Limbo Jones. I'm a professional life coach and mentor. I'm here to help you on your life journey, whatever you're going through, whatever situation you're facing. I'm here to help you. Where are you? Where are you coming from? Where are you going if you're scrolling down? And please share this live. If this is something that resonates with you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it. Let's help as many people as we can in these difficult times. In these crazy times. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we? What's going on in your life? Football lover, hello. Good morning, Coco. How are you? Thank you for joining me again. Good to see you all this morning, or whatever time it is. Farouk, morning. Zidja Vlogs, hi. Lichum, good morning. Football lover, we're talking about you. If you want to come on, if you want to be a guest, if you want to share your story, Please press the pink and blue symbols down below. This is what it is. It's a phone-in show. It's basically you coming on and telling your story. Put it out on the table. Let's see. Let's help you wherever you are, whatever you're going through. Warrior, hello. This is all about you. This is all about you. So I was, my name is Stefan Limburg jones I'm a professional life coach and mentor. I'm from the UK. I'm half English, half Swedish, and I've been living here in the Middle East for the last 18 years. I'm here to help you on your life journey, whatever you're going through, whatever situation you're facing. It's better to have two heads than one. And we've got someone. Good morning. Hello, Steve. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Welcome back. Uh, good morning. Uh, hey, the other day I was watching uh, one of your videos, and it's you know it it's, it's inspired me a lot. So the thing that you were talking about was, uh, I was scrolling on social media, then I came across a video. Uh, unintentionally and I know you are a coach and I'm actually like your videos and I always give a like or share or stuff like that so the thing that fascinates me was uh, when you were saying like if you are uh, uh, it was was slipped my mind a part of the information but I the thing it was choose progress of that perfection that's something that actually stick to me and i do like uh when you were talking about that did you remember that video say it again do you remember you said yeah to you said choose oh progress perfection choose choose pro progress of the perfection absolutely the thing that you said was so uh I actually, uh, it, I like it. It stuck. It stick to my mind. So I was thinking the other day uh, that, and I was watching your video. So actually, that is true. Choose progress of the perfection, and I, I look at the different ways. So what Steve meant when he was saying things like that. So actually, something that. Uh, I do like when people are saying things like that. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, of course. Choose progress. Take one step at a time. People that always are looking for perfection are never happy, are never reaching that point because in their minds, 
it needs to be perfect. But what is perfect? So why not keep going? Why not start somewhere? Even if it's rough. You look at, look at anyone's videos. Look how they start initially. It's just, they're just showing up. And then they get better and better. That's progress. They just get better and better. And I'm sure you're on that yes. journey as well. Yes, I'm on chain actually. So, and I saw a lot of people trying to make their life perfect life. So I told them that life is when they gonna get that point. Just focus on the things that resonate you, the things that you know you like to do. So at the end of the day, you're gonna get a same position where you feel like, oh, I got where I wanted for a long time. So choosing. It's your choice, actually, yes. So always I told them uh, look for the thing that you um, seems, feel like this might, you know, resonate with you or might, you know, closer to your goal. So, and it's true, but what, what is your message to those people who are trying to make their life perfect uh, immediately? What's your message to those people? slow down enjoy the journey and give yourself a break because you know perfection what is perfection in whose eyes so just enjoy mm, the journey just enjoy the journey just enjoy every moment yes um also uh, I, I have a lot of friends and all of them they are struggling to learn a language which is like English, French or Spanish. So the, the thing that actually, um, you know, making them, holding them back is like, oh, I've been here, we cannot do this anymore, uh, we are feeling exhausted, we cannot, and I actually I told them that stay on the process feel excitement, feel enjoyment on the process. Absolutely. You can get what you want Absolutely. and be passionate. Absolutely. So, yes, that is all. So, well done, my of, man. One of these things. You are, you are a shining light. Me. You're an inspiration. Yes. So, one of the, uh, you know, the things that people might them to learn language is being, you know, uh, feeling uh, comfortable with the process of learning language. And as, as Steve, you know, learning language is not something, you know, you can uh, make it happen one day. No. Actually, it, it takes a lot of time, years and years. Absolutely. So, just, yes, keep on, absolutely. just keep on showing up, keep on trying. Sometimes it's going to be really tough. Sometimes it's going to be easier yeah. than yesterday. But yes, just keep on showing up, keep on listening. Just enjoy it. Oh, that's actually true. So uh, that, there's another thing actually that and that is something uh, I was struggling for a long time. And at the end of the day, uh, I tried to overcome it. And I think I overcame half of it, not at all. So that was whenever I start to speak English language, English is not my native language, you know, I haven't ever been English spoken country. And that was one of the, you know, a challenging art choice to me when I was starting learning this language. So whenever I used to start to speak English, I used to feel like nervousness, mm. unable to express myself. And I used to feel stuff like that. So I asked myself, what is wrong with you? This is not your, you know, native language, not your first language. If people might have of you an image like, Oh, this man's trying to sound like made people or the, you know, half perception of something like that. This is not going to stop you. What you want is to connect yourself to people around the world. And English, you know, is a, a global language. So everyone can understand you while you speak English. But when I'm speaking my native language, which is Somali, no one cannot be understand things like that. So. What is your message and how, how, how does it feel to you when you, you know, having a conversation with or meet someone who's struggling with feeling nervousness while that person's trying to speak English language or might another language? Again, 
give yourself some space give yourself some you know don't put so much pressure on yourself it's your journey no one else's no one's judging you no one's there examining you every single day it's your journey it's your it's for you to show up it's for you to just take your time you know when you feel it feel it when you're not then you know give yourself a break but it's all about you moving forward every step and just taking small steps you will get better and better mm. you you focus on a bit of language today you help yourself tomorrow and that's how that's how we all develop that's how we learn and that's how we progress and that's how we move forward so that that's what i would say to someone okay it's all about uh, trust the process trust I the process free. absolutely my man and Yes, absolutely. So yeah, I, I thought that there was a specific uh, alpha recommendation that you give to the same people who are struggling with learning language. So I thought something like that, but uh, you told me like, uh, trust the process. It is all about feeling feeling free and not feeling uh, in a station or things yeah, like that. You because told me. you know, when, you, when you're into something, when you love something, it's easy because your whole body, your whole mind is just focused on the thing that you're, you're enjoying. But if you're trying to force yourself to do something, that's really difficult because it's like you're trying to force something into a small hole and your mind isn't open because your mind's like, why am I doing this? This, this feels uncomfortable. So you have to get into a state of enjoyment. You have to find aspects of what you're doing and what you're learning enjoyable. Because then it will literally resonate with the whole of you, and it won't feel as difficult. Yes, I have a friend, and he's actually, I told him every single day, and he came to school, and I told him that, just, just the person I'm talking to a guy, you know, see? So do not trap me when I'm speaking. That's fine. <laughs> Someone trapped me, sorry for that, and it's just asking me things like, there's no... I think it's that you can recall, you cannot be connected to yourself, someone uh, live in another country. He told me something like that and I said to him, don't, don't interrupt to me, I'm just speaking uh, English language, I'm trying to brush up my language. So, so let's continue our conversation and that was, uh, I told you that I have a friend, who's, uh, his name is Faisal. And he's struggling actually this language, but the, 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 the problem is our eyes, like, uh, it cannot be trusted the process. I think he, he has been learning this language approximately two years. And I was uh, teaching this language. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen them? Okay. I will have them. Okay. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Oh, I'm the big bro of this man. He's a good man. And you should, you yeah. should, you, he's a, he's a very guiding light. I can hear that. Anyway, I've yeah, got, yeah, yeah. I've got to move on to other people because, um, other people. all right, you take care of yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll take care of myself. Okay. Other people, I Bye -bye. You. Okay. Let's get on with the show. Let's, let's, it's all open. It's all open to you guys. Yes. There's questions, but it's all about you. Not anyone else. It's all about you. It's what you bring to the table. I am not an English teacher before you, you know, before anyone that's coming on here. I'm not an English teacher. I'm a professional life coach and mentor. I'm here to help you on your life journey, whatever situation that you're going through. So if you want to be a guest, if you want to share your story, please press the pink and blue symbols down below to request to be a guest. Mr. Rashid, welcome back. Hey, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Um, uh, it's good to see you, you know. It's good to see you. It's good to hear from you. What's yeah, yeah. What's I, going on? I, I, I don't know what's wrong with my uh, previous account on TikTok, but I think TikTok knows very well how much uh, am i connected with you because this is the only platform that i can that i can uh, make use of so they put me out of the whole thing you know so i have to sign up for new accounts yeah that's not good 
Did you they get? Knew, they knew how much, they knew TikTok knew how much I love you. That's why they put me off the thing, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe they thought it was unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so how are you in general? How how are things? Um, I'm really I'm really doing great. Good. I'm I'm very happy. Good to with hear. My life, I'm very happy with each and everything going on. I always I'm working always hard for better, you know, for being a better person. Mm. And I'm enjoying it, by the way. Well, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Good. Is there anything else? A lot of things I want to ask about and a lot of things I want to talk about, but then everything just like that gone. It just happened. positive power and the positive energy I need and the thing that I want to talk about just seeing you that's good enough <laughs> you're too calm a man yeah, yeah I'm really good 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 well you know where you can find me yeah yeah I'm not gonna tell anyone yeah I know I know okay yeah I don't I don't want to make the place so crowded because if I start telling people where you are <laughs> then a lot of people are going to be there, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just passing by to say hi and telling you that things are okay. All right, good, good. Well, keep in touch. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, my man. Ple pleasure is mine always. Same here. Look after yourself. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 No, someone didn't want to come on here. Let's go to Miriam. Hi. Good morning. Hello, coach. Hello, how are you? Good morning, too. I'm very good. Good. Wow, that's a lot of noises happening. Noises? Noises, yes. How no. can I help, Miriam? Okay. Let... Teacher, I have a problem. A lot of problems. Okay. Yeah. Where should we start? Which one would you like to focus on? Okay. First, I want to start with relationships. And please don't tell me be positive. Okay? I can't. Uh, I'm not telling you anything. That was your head talking. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay. Um, first, I graduated from university and I still don't have a job. Okay. Okay. So, okay. being at home twenty-four hours making me depression. Okay. What did you, Marian? What Second, did you graduate in? Um, engineering. Okay. Civil engineer. So, my family are pressuring me to get married, and I don't want to. Okay. Right, right now, okay? There is a person they want me to get married and I get some red flags from him, but my mom wants it. So, and I can't say no to her, but I don't want this person. So what do I do? Well, what do you want me to focus on first? Your, the work or the getting married? Uh, the work. Okay. That's the main point. Okay, so how long have you been looking? <laughs> Uh, for one year. Okay, and tell me your the process to apply for work. Uh, first, I get an internship from some companies. I finish it. Now I'm on the market, but I didn't have a good job, so I don't know where to start. So, with those internships, what happened with those internships? Yeah, I finished it. So, but yeah. I didn't get that. They said me. They told me that they don't have uh, any positions to work for. Okay. And yeah, okay, so you, so you've done internships, and what else? Uh, that's the problem. I don't know what else. I can have a job. I can, so what I do? No. How how I, how, I, how I, else? I, have you got a LinkedIn page? 
Uh, I try some of them. I get to interview. No, I LinkedIn. Didn't, didn't LinkedIn. Have it. you got a profile on LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. So, man, um, I try to get uh, so many skills. I learn so many skills so, and to get very good job. I am an interior decorator. So, 3D and design, uh, I'm good with it. Okay. Yeah, but I still didn't get a good job. So are you just, you know, when you say you still don't get a good, good job, are you just applying for any job that shows up for you? Yeah, really, yes. Okay. So how else are you getting out there? Because, you know, you are, you are your own brand. You're, you're your own person. How else? Because when you, when you apply for a job, you're in a line of everyone else. You know? How? No, I apply. A job is for engineers only, like structural engineers. No, I understand. Engineer. I understand. But you're in a you're in a queue of other civil engineers. You're you're in a you're in a line. You're not the only one that applies for that job. I know. That's why I'm trying to get good skills and to have okay. good skills. But, um, but you're still a, but you're still going to be in the line. How else can you show yeah. up? How else can you connect with people? How are you reaching out to people? Uh, I don't know. That, that's what I'm saying is that, you know, you graduated and then you were available for work. But you were just, a, you were just joining the queue. Any time there was a job, you were just joining the queue with everyone else that has the same qualification. Okay. Yeah? So what, I, what I'm saying, I, I need you to focus on what companies are are the best companies for you and your skills that's the one that's the first thing that you need to think about what company or companies are perfect for me whether they've got a job or not let's not think about that let's just focus on which companies would be perfect for me with my qualification yeah that's the first thing okay. second thing linkedin go on linkedin and find those companies Find their find their page, and then LinkedIn. underneath underneath their company name, it says LinkedIn members who work for this company, and then have a look have a look at all the people that work in that company. That's the second thing. Third thing, have a look at these people and see where they're from. Because I'm, I'm sure there's some people that are from your, your area, your country, and reach out to them. Reach out to them and say, hey, you know, I'm a recent graduate. I'm just curious. What is it like to work for, for this company? Because, you know, I really, admire their, I really admire what they do. I really admire, you know, where they're going. What is it like to work for that company? Can you recommend anything that I can do to your, that I can connect with certain people just to, you know, ask them a few questions. You're not, you're not sharing your CV, you're just curious. You're just curious, what is it like to work for that company? You know, what are the benefits, etc., etc. And you build, okay. a, you build a relationship. It's all about relationships, I'm afraid. It's all about relationships. And you, you won't stand out above the crowd unless you start connecting with people within that organization. Mm, get it, but communication is my major problem. I have a social anxiety. Okay, well, we need to work on that. So how, yeah. so how much time do you look after yourself? Um, I don't know. Okay, I so, don't do it mostly. Okay, so can we... You know, you have the time now before you, yeah. before you start working. Schedule the time for you. Okay. So, so what I mean by that is make sure that you have a good, good sleep. Okay. You know. Sorry. Yeah, so may, well, there's a lot of noise behind you. So you make sure that you go to bed either 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. I need to reset the body. We need to reset. We need to energize you. 
because I don't feel there's much energy coming from you. You know, you've had a year of disappointment. You've had a year of anxiety. You've had a year of worry. And that's a lot of energy that you're using up for the wrong reason. We need to look after you. We need you showing up in the workplace to say, this is me. This is my qualification. I want to connect with you. I want to ask you questions. But where's that energy going to come from? It's going to, it's going to start from you being more, more specific on when you go to bed. And I know that sounds crazy, but... 9 o'clock, you wake up at 4 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you wake up at 5 o'clock. You have a good seven hours sleep. It detoxes the brain because the brain builds up all these toxins during the day. You, you detox it. And also, you realign your body clock. So when you wake up, you're, you've got the energy. It's like recharging yourself. So you have 100% energy ready for the day. And then, mm. are, you, are you religious? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you pray, I want you to really focus on the words. Don't do it just out of habit. Don't do it just because, you know, it's expected that you show up and you pray. I really want you to focus on the words that you're saying and really connect. Because when you do that, you will, you will see the little voice in your head playing games with you. It will be trying to distract you. It will try to say, oh, what are we having for lunch later on? Or did I organize this? And you say, no, I am here to focus on every word that I'm saying. I'm really going to connect. So you start being in control mm -hmm. of your mind. Okay, noted. Okay. And then exercise. You've got to exercise. And this is every single day. This is you showing up for yourself every single day. Exercise, movement of the body. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Go to the gym. Go swimming. Go cycling, do yoga, whatever, but just move that body of yours. And then also, you know, with feelings that are coming up, be, be curious. What, what is this feeling within me? Where is it coming from? Because generally, you know, the feelings that we have inside of us come from when we were a small child and the experiences that we had. So you do, you do all those things, that's looking after you. So when you do show up, when you, when, you, when you do connect with people, the anxiety isn't there because you know you've done the work, you've looked after yourself, and you've got to know who you are. Yeah, thank you. So you do that, and then other things will start becoming clearer for you. All right? Let's start right. there. Let's, let's look at the, the work situation. Let's connect with people on LinkedIn. And then other things will start falling in place. But let's, let's look after ourselves first, all right? Okay. Thank you. All right. Miriam, you, you look after yourself. And I'm always here every single day, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. You take care. It's funny how she started. It was like, I've got all these problems. And then it was just bang, 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 bang. And it's funny how when we look at our situation, yes, we're in the middle of the storm. We can't see through it. We're literally embroiled in it. And we don't know how to get out of it. And it's just when so someone else can stand by your side and basically say, look, there is a gap there. Let's, let's move towards that. Let's, let's have a look at how we can get through it. Where before, literally, you're surrounded and your attention's being pulled here, there, and everywhere. And that's what you heard at the beginning of when she came on. So if this is the first time you see me, my name, my name, my name is Stefan Limbo jones I'm from, Oh, my head isn't working today. I've got a headache. I'm a, I'm a professional life coach and mentor. I'm from the UK. I'm half English, half Swedish. And I've been living here in the Middle East for the last 18 years. I'm here to help you on your life journey, wherever you are, whatever age you're at. And this is all about your journey. This is all about you showing up, you sharing your story. Because your story is an inspiration for others to see that they're not alone, that they're not experiencing it all by themselves. 
that they will be inspired with what you're going through and what they hear you say. And also, when you say things out, it becomes clearer because before you've been playing it around in your head and it's all jumbled and it doesn't make any sense. But it drains you because all your energy is going into your head. Once you start saying things, it becomes clearer. You hear your own words. You hear your own sentences. And that helps you. Anyway, if you want to be a guest on this show, please press the pink and blue symbols down below to request to be a guest. No, no. Someone disappeared, wanted to be a guest, but then no. No, this one's not connecting either. Okay, so there is a spot. There is a free area if you want if you want to ask a question uh ams i can understand you but i can't speak well i need your advice thanks okay hold on hello hello Hello, sir. Hello. Morning. Good morning. How are you? How do you do? I'm doing I'm very fine. well. Thanks. And you? Yeah, very good. How can I help? I'm doing uh, just uh, I'm joining to your life uh, just now. I don't know what the topic was it talking about uh, because my English is not well. So uh, how can you help me to uh, learn English? Well, I, I'm not an English teacher, just uh, that's the first thing I'm going to say. But okay. the way I say, the way I see it and the way I, you know, English teachers have come up on this show is basically it's to surround yourself in the language. It's to keep on listening. How do you do that? Yeah. Uh, I'm listening. My listening is good. So I, I'm, I, I can't understand. Uh, most no, but how much words. time, how much time do you give yourself to listen to the English language? Each day, uh, a day, yeah. a day. Yeah. Uh, maybe two hours. Two hours. Yeah. And what are you listening to? Mm. What do you listen to? Um, topic and uh, movie and a paragraph, uh, something like this. So what I would say is, if you if you really want to improve it, increase the time that you're listening. That that you oh, listen to podcasts, okay. you listen to music, you watch programs, and also repeat the words that you're hearing. Yeah. Yeah, and as Mush okay, says, songs. Okay. Songs is good to listen to and to repeat the words, and enjoy it. I got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. Take care. Thank you. Okay. So if this is the first time you see me, my name is Stefan Limbo jones I'm a professional life coach and mentor. I'm from the UK. I'm half English, half Swedish, and I've been living here in the Middle East for the last 18 years. I'm here to help you on your life journey, wherever you are, whatever situation that you're going through, whether it's a toxic environment, whether it's a relationship, whether it's um, trying to find a job, whether you're an entrepreneur and you're setting up a business, or whether you're in a business, whether you're leading a business, whatever situation that you're in, I'm here to help you on your journey. I'm here to stand by your side. I'm here to give you a shoulder to lean on when you need that. I'm here as an extra pair of eyes to see where you're going, where you're going. Have you ever asked yourself, where am I going? What am I doing this for? What is the point? So yes, I'm here every single day. I'm here. And if you want, if you like what you see, please follow me because you will be notified every single time I go live. Please press follow and they will notify you when I'm live. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see the repeats of these shows every single day. So if you miss one, it will show up on YouTube. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is the same handle as this TikTok page, which is at Stefan, S-T-E-F-A-N-L-J coach. 
And if you want to know more about me, please go to my website, which is Stefan, www.stefanljcoach.com. And please, if you want to share your story, please press your play picture. Please press the pink and blue symbols down below to request to be a guest. Share your story. Put it down on the table. Let's have a look at it. Let's take it apart. Let's see the words that you're telling yourself that aren't helping you move forward. Or when no one's actually coming on, just write it down. If you're not confident in actually saying it, then just write it down. If I'm not having a guest, then this is your time. Uh, I'm shy when I need to speak English. I'm scared if I say something wrong. That's your... No one knows. And this is what I say when you're scared about speaking the language. No one knows what you're bringing to the table. No one knows your level of expertise in the language. So use the, use the words that you're comfortable in using. As a native speaker, we are so appreciative that you're actually making that effort to speak the language. So it, we're not putting pressure. We're not marking you. We just appreciate that you're making that effort. So take away that anxiety. Take your time. Take a, deep, a few deep breaths. And don't try and force the words out too quickly because then they will all get jumbled up. Just take your time saying the words trying to find the words, retrieve the words, and then bring them forward. And if they get mixed up, they get mixed up. Generally, as a native speaker, we can understand. And you know that when someone's trying to speak your language. You will understand, or you, you, will, get, you will look at the way they're communicating, even if they're not saying the right words. You will understand how they are showing up, the body language. So don't be hard on yourself. Uh, morning, I'm lonely and I'm struggling as a beginner on YouTube. Morning, I'm the same. Just show up. Just put content out there. The more you do, the more you learn, the more you see, and also you'll see other YouTubers. But you're probably looking at other YouTubers that are far way down the line and have been doing this for years and years. So their content is polished. Their content has been taken time. Go and have a look at the first video that they did. Then you will understand. So you just show up. You put the content that you're comfortable doing. And the more you do it, the more you get more confident and the more it will get more polished and polished and polished. Uh, Mushik, I feel anxious sometimes, especially when I feel happy as I have shared my story with you. I feel anxious sometimes, especially when I feel happy as I have shared my story with you. Okay. Can you give us more, Mush? Um, Maya, I have an interview and I'm weak in English. Maya, you're not. Just show up. If you keep on focusing that you're weak on English, the interview won't go well because that's all you're thinking about. You're not, you won't even be focusing on the questions that they're asking you. You won't be showing up as your true self. So put that to one side. Just show up as you. Breathe. Take your time. And you will get through it. And it's amazing what comes up when you're relaxed. If you're stressed, if you're worried about your English, that's all you're going to be thinking of. You're not actually showing up for that interview and they won't be seeing the true you show up so just take your time just take it easy take a few deep breaths uh, I have a problem with pro this is uh, Ranania uh, Windy 109 I have a problem with procrastination I cannot pull myself out of it can I, you advise about it Yes, what is procrastination is basically keeping you safe or you're, you don't feel you can reach the goal that you've set yourself. So you'd rather sit and not do anything. Have a look at what you're doing and create a plan. Create a schedule on your calendar and show up 
and just be in the moment. Keep on working on yourself. You show up every single day and work on yourself. See where that procrastination, what is it that you're avoiding and pull yourself back. Work on that. Why? What is it that is not working for me, that is holding me back, that I don't want to do this? Lean into that feeling of uncomfortableness. Because that's what procrastination is. It's basically, it doesn't want to do something that feels uncomfortable. So you just, you're just staying in your comfort zone. But that's not helping you move forward. That isn't helping you tomorrow. And that's the conversation you need to have in your head, is to basically say, look, this isn't helping me. I need to help myself for tomorrow. So when I show up tomorrow, I'm going to be really thankful that I did what I needed to do yesterday. Because that's all we've got control of is today and how we help ourselves tomorrow. So have, start having a conversation with yourself. Start putting a plan together. Even to do a to-do to list, which I procrastinate sometimes when I write a to-do list and then I kind of convenient put it to one side. But I know it helps me if I come back and I focus. What do I need to do now? Uh, like something and will happy, etc. Because I'm not used to be happy. My past is not good. Mushk. Let go of the past. That's nothing you can control. All you can control is here now. And enjoy. If you feel happy, enjoy it. Your past is your past. That was you in the past. This is you now. You're not the same person as you were in the past. This is the new you. This is the new you that's going to keep moving forward. So embrace it. Be happy. Enjoy it. I'm not the same me as I was yesterday, and I'm not the same me as I was last year. I have to keep on working on myself. And I like the improved me. I like how I show up now. I wasn't too happy about me in the past, but that's all I knew. Until either someone reflected back of what I was like or the experiences that I was hearing or feeling, I knew that this can't carry on. I have to keep on working on myself. I want to show up as this new version. So in my mind, I created a new version of myself. And I moved into that. And I keep on moving into that. All right, we all have our faults. We all have our, you know, our weaknesses. But we can work on that. We, we, we know what they are. But we can work on it. We can keep plugging away. And that's what you need to do. Enjoy it. But enjoy the experience. Enjoy the initial uncomfortable feeling that you feel when you move into the new version of you. That you keep on working on you. Uh, I just read your next message, Mosk. Things will happen, but they're lessons. Just think of them as lessons. That, all right, I'm not there yet. I need to improve more. I need to work on myself more. But enjoy being happy. If you're not, if you're always scared that something's going to happen, then you're always going to be in a state of uncertainty. Just enjoy the experience. Enjoy your feelings. And then you know where to come back to if life makes things rocky you know where you want to go back to and you will work on it and you will get back there again anyway if this is if you're new to this because there's a lot of people asking questions my name is Stephen Limbo Jones I'm a professional life coach and mentor I'm from the UK I'm half English half Swedish and I've been living here in the Middle East for the last 18 years. I'm here to help you on your life journey, whatever issue that you have. If you're not confident with your English and you don't feel like you can communicate, then please write your questions here. Or if you want to ask a question or share your story, please press the pink and blue symbols down below to request to be a guest and share that story. Um, Moni, how can I reduce my social media addiction so I can stay in a habit? <laughs> <laughs> just being aware of it, just being aware, you are aware of it, 
So what can you do to stop yourself? Because you know it is a habit. So what can you do? Can you take away the apps? Can you move your phone out? Can you have a routine that basically, for this period of time, I am not going to be near my phone? And you will feel it. You know, they've, they've designed a phone that is addictive. They've designed it so it is colorful. They've designed it so it, it basically shouts out curiosity. Or you have to look at this. Look, there's a little red dot that says there's a number of messages or notifications. Turn them all off. Make it so you're just using it as a phone. Or you schedule in a time that, okay, this time I will be checking my phone. But then for half an hour after that, it's off. Be in control. Don't let this be in control. You be in control. Because, yes, you will find that if you don't control it, an hour passes, two hour passes. And how, how is that helping you moving forward? How does that help you be better, the version for you tomorrow and the next day? It's like gaming. Be aware of how much time you're gaming because that's a lot of time. The only, the only thing that is precious to us is time. Time is valuable. We haven't got much time on this planet. So enjoy it, but don't waste it. Make it productive. Make it help you move forward. Be the better version of you. Gaming, social media, it's a waste of your time. It's not, it's not productive. It's not helping you. And that's what you have to be aware of. It's addictive. It's colorful. It's addictive. But don't let, be aware of that. We're all, we're all suckered in. Uh, Maya, I'm asking why people go through the wars and killing players so no one is helping. Maya, but how is this ha affecting you? How are you showing up? It's not how our other people are feeling, it's how you're feeling. So if you want to share your story, this is, this is, please press the pink and blue symbols down below. Maya, I am thinking why English people talk like mixing word. In what way? Uh, Haiti, what if you can't share and threaten to stay silent? What are you trying to share? Good morning, Bilal. Leila, hello, good morning. Mushk agreed. I have a keep trying even differently. Um, oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, please. Please join. This is a phone-in show. This is about you showing up. Uh, what What's happening with me and manipulations I go through? Okay. No, I'm not sure I'm getting the... Haiti. I'm not sure I'm understanding you correctly. What is the question? What are you asking? Oh, we have a potential guest. Okay, he's uh, doing something completely different. Uh, Miss Rama, Stefan, can you tell us about you first? Yes, my name is Stefan Limbo Jones. I'm a professional life coach and mentor. I'm from the UK. I'm half English, half Swedish. And I've been living here in the Middle East for the last 18 years. I've been on this coaching journey for the last three years. I'm a CEO and entrepreneur of a media company here in Qatar for the last 13 years. Before that, I was in broadcasting. I was a broadcast engineer. Um, I am a professional holistic masseur. I, am, I have four children. I'm happily married here 
in the Middle East. I have a beautiful wife. And uh, yes, anything else? But this isn't about me. This is about you. I'm here showing up to help you guys. I'm here to reflect back on what I'm hearing and what I'm not hearing. I'm a, like a detective and to help you move forward on your life journey. How, what is stopping you? And generally it's the words that we're telling ourselves. That's what's not allowing us to achieve what we should be achieving. Uh, just me, when we are in relationships, we feel longing and this feeling sometimes affects negative on us. Just me. I say you need to start learning about you. You need to start loving yourself first. Once you do that, you're not longing for anyone else. You're happy. You're content. You're always going home to when you're in a peaceful place. It feels like home. So anyone that comes along, it's up to you whether you allow them into your life or not. Because... You're quite content being on your own. You're quite content because you've learned about who you truly are. And when you resonate on that higher frequency, you will attract like for like. So there won't be any longing. It'd be like, who's suitable? Who's, who is privileged to be with me? Because I know who I am. I know where, what I'm about and I know where I'm going. But does this person know who they are and what they're about and where they're going? I'm just giving some space. Isn't it funny? When you're giving peace, when you're giving a place of silence, that how is that affecting you? Are you feeling awkward? What is that feeling? Why are you feeling that? Because a lot of people try and fill the space of silence. But the power is in the silence. The power is in the space that you allow people to actually hear what's going on in their head and you can control that you can say how is that helping me you showing up and you being oh what's he doing who's this what's he all about what why is he wearing that and oh look at him he's wearing glasses or whatever talk to it how is that helping me and you're always judging why are you judging So, we are running out of time. We've got seven minutes. So, if anyone wants to call, any, please be a guest. Please press the pink and blue symbols down below to request to be a guest. Or we can go out with this show just by people writing questions here, which uh, seems to be the norm at the moment, which is a first for me. Normally, we get so many people trying to cram and be a guest. This is a new one. Uh, Tiba, yes, I have a YouTube channel. It's the same handle as this one on TikTok. It's at Stefan, S-T-E-F-A-N-L-J, Coach. And these shows will be repeated, even this one. So you will see this one in a few days' time, but all the others are coming every single day now. I'm in the habit. I'm in the routine of getting literally top and tailing and then putting it out on my YouTube channel. So if you miss one, You'll always see the repeat on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe. Please share it. Please, let's reach out to as many people as we can to help people on their life journey. That they're not on their own. That I'm here. You're here. As a community, we're here to help people. Rashid, you should tell people the hidden secrets of being happy. You can say that, Rashid. You know. You're in it. You're feeling it. You're experiencing it. The secret of being happy is to get to know who you are. Because no one else is going to do that for you. You be the experiment. You find out what these feelings that are coming up are all about. 
play with yourself in a in a mental way be the experiment see what foods work for you and what don't what make you tired what make you have a slump that give you energy play with it talk to this voice in your head be in control don't allow the head to control you how are you helping yourself now being in the moment and helping yourself tomorrow that's what i always think about how can i help myself tomorrow by focusing on something now so yes um rashid talking to someone makes me feel as if i'm intoxicated i've no idea what is this well ask yourself start asking yourself the questions that's that's how we get to know ourselves is to ask why am i feeling like that where do where is that initial intoxication come from when i was a younger because that's generally where it all comes from our programming was from an, a young age from our parents our schools our religions our um experiences that we had as a child are all stored in here and they will show up So that intoxication, Rashid, comes from something that happened to you when you were younger. Maybe there was someone that intoxicated you at a very early age and you didn't have the tools to deal with it at the time. So it was just like oh. and that that comes up now, but you're an adult now. So you appreciate, you know, you have many more tools to handle these things. But those feelings are still there and they will still show up. So ask yourself, visualize yourself when the first time you felt intoxicated. When was it? Who was it with? And just appreciate, love yourself for that because that person, that little version of you has got you to where you are now. With the limited tools that that little version of you had. So give it love, give him love. Appreciate what he had to go through at that point and that you're here now. uh we feel something wrong in relationships that are, that feeling always right so we avoid it right we feel something wrong in relationships that feeling always right so we avoid it right just me i'm not sure what that question is where that's coming from can you be more specific fakri good morning how are you we're having a um a written question and answer no one wants to come on so happy to answer any questions verbal or written and if there are new people joining my name is stefan limba jones i'm a professional life coach and mentor i'm from the uk i'm half english half swedish and i've been living here in the middle east for the last 18 years i'm here to help you on your life journey whatever whatever situation you're going through whatever age you're at Uh, mush any parents are admirable no expectations from anyone any parents are admirable no expectations from anyone i'm not sure where you're coming from mush but basically yes you have to understand that your parents had the knowledge that was given to them from their parents from their experiences and they did the best they could raising you they were your initial programmers So and they've got that programming has got you to where you are today. But is it the right programming? It doesn't need to be updated. If you think about a telephone, a phone, it comes with its original programming. How many times does does it say I need an update? I need an update. And that's what we need to do with ourselves. We need to take control, look at the programming and go, okay, what works and what doesn't work? I need an update. I need to learn new things to improve myself because we can't carry on with the old programming. Because society, everything is moving fast. Everything is moving. And it's not the same as it was 20, 30, 40 years ago when you were being in- initially given the information, giving them pr- given the programming. So it's up to you to take control now and say, "Okay, great." 
I really appreciate everything that my parents did, the school did, my religion did, the experiences that, that I had. But now I'm an adult and I, I'm going to take control. I'm going to see where I need an update. Rania, I'll share my story with you tomorrow, Stefan, as we run out of time. Can't wait. Yes, I'm always here, and we have reached the end of our time. I'm always here, and I will be... Let me just check. I will be on tomorrow at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. tomorrow. So please join me. I wish you all the best. And remember, please follow me here so you'll be notified when I go live and please subscribe to my YouTube channel which is the same handle as the TikTok one it's Stefan S-T-E-F-A-N-L-J coach and please go to my website if you want to know more about information about me and the services that I provide I wish you all the best and remember you are beautiful you are unique there is no one like you there's no one that sounds like you there is no one that sees the world like you so start showing up as you start being curious about who you are I think I said this before. Start being curious about how you operate, how you function. Because you're not the same as anyone else. You are completely different. And you've been programmed completely different compared to everyone else. No one had the same parents as you did. And no one was told the same thing as you did. Even if you've got brothers and sisters, they experienced your parents in different ways, at different times, heard different things. So start being curious about how that all came together and how you function as a human being. Once you do that, you start showing up. You have full, total more confidence because you've taken the time to get to know who you truly are. And then you can literally go out there with full confidence and no one can push you over because you've done the work. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Take care. Bye-bye.